Joe's bringing me a ring light, so I'm about to be glowing as well. Oh, nice. That's nice. So I got the ring light from Baltimore. It's good. It's good. Yeah. From Baltimore. I, I had one because I was like sold like a bunch of like old vintage shit when I was there. Oh, uh, I thought you were cranking shit on OnlyFans. I wish, dude. I wish I had the hog for that. Um, episode nine. Yeah, podcast. Nice to work podcast. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you know, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, it's quite the intro you got there. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Well, What's new, bro? What's new, brother? Talk to me here. I mean, so, so much is new. You know, we're living through uh, New York Open Bar Week, as you called it here. You know. Have you gotten a lot of invites? I have, but I haven't gotten to anything. Seems like a missed opportunity. I went to one party that was actually at Flower Shop, and it just... It kind of sucked. I wasn't. I what wasn't, party was that flower shop? Uh, that dating show that I was on. I was. was yeah, it was. It was fine. Were there, were there was were there, were there beautiful women in there? There were there were cute girls there, you know. But it's just it's not it's even. Fine. It wasn't. It just wasn't that fun. You live. You live meters away. You could have taken something home. I mean, perhaps, but I just decided to just. I don't know. I had like two drinks and I had split. It's just not my thing, you know. I feel like it's. I'm not. I'm not cool like that. I'm. It's just a reality of the situation. I'm not that guy. It's not me. I'm not. A, I'm not a fashion show guy. I'm not a fashion week guy. It's not my thing. Okay. What? It's not. Do you? Is that your thing? No, it's not. <laughs> but I'm not sitting here claiming that it is like you. I literally just said it wasn't. I literally said yeah, the but you were, you were you were you were you literally texted me something completely different. What? You just said, I'm that guy. I love Fashion Week. <laughs> you know what the ghost of Steve Jobs is rolling around in his grave over that fucking lie? That's a fucking false. That's a falsity. Mm-hmm. And that definitely did not happen over iMessage, for you sure. Should, you should be out fucking taking them down, you know? If fashion Week parties are just not my thing. It's just not me. Mm-hmm. It's just because, first of, all, first of all, I don't know any of those people. I don't know any of those fashion people. I don't know any of okay. them. Some of them will like approach me. And they, like, know they, they know you. Some people did approach me and they were like, oh shit, like I love like the Luke's NYC videos, love the podcast, blah, 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 blah. But like, that's not like, Come here. it's not like I can have a conversation based off of that. Like, it's like a short two second thing and I'm like, okay. Anyway. All right. Yeah. Mr. All, all the guy who's kicking all this shit about talking to people on videos is fucking like can't have a conversation with a random person about what the fuck ever. What did you lose your social skills? That's with that? not what I'm we, saying. First of all, first of all, we've been like best friends for like 12 years. It's very, very, very different from me talking to random strangers. You talk, you can talk to random strangers very well. I'm very easily like not like am disengaged quickly and just like not that into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, um, it's just like, you know, no, there's no, like, no shit. I'm not like shitting on anybody. It's just, sounds like you are. I'll talk to someone for like a little bit and it just doesn't, the conversation isn't entertaining really. So I'm not engaged and it makes me feel bored and I just want to leave. You should talk to him about Hyder Ackerman at Tom Ford. I'm like, yo, tell me about Hyder, Hyder and Hedy Slomane, Hyder Ackerman and Hedy Slomane. Oh, now you want to get down after fucking sitting at my feet for... How has he been? How has he been in the store, by the way? Taj earlier yesterday literally said that he's like, I think he's earning his check. <laughs> Why is that? Because he comes up and he greets all the customers. And if someone's at the door and Taj isn't paying attention, he's going to go up to the door and park at the door. He's such a good dog. I don't know. Any developments on the uh, the social structure of the the Fraser pack? Is he still does he still looking at you as the the alpha male of the group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes me a lot more. <laughs> It's just kind of, it's unfortunate. He's, yeah, yeah. He's not giving Aurora kisses. Um, he's sleeping on me at night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know she's sick. He's, he, yeah, he's kind of, uh, he kind of switched up. He's so, so crazy. It, the Dick Eaton's kind of crazy. <laughs> the Dick Eaton is crazy. I, the, yeah, he, he's, he's acting like, you know, he's acting like someone we would besmirch for, for, you know, like being like that. He's on some fashion week shit, what it seems like. He's glazing. Well, by the way, I saw that you were, I saw that you were in fucking Cupertino and shit, my favorite place on earth. How was that? San Juan Capistrano. Capistrano. Cupertino. Capistrano. I love, I love Orange County. I love it. We got fucking hammered at this bar, uh, this like dive bar. And, uh, 
this 50 something year old white woman was like, what are y'all drinking? She was kind of talking like this, like slurring her words a bit. And we're like, we're drinking mezcal. She's like, I don't know what that is. Is that like tequila? We're like, yeah, it's tequila. She's like, I want some tequila so bad, but I'm driving. So it won't be only for me. <laughs> and I was like, all right, look responsible. <laughs> but she was um, quite hammered. What does she look like? That bar though. What? I wouldn't have fucked her. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even caught in, in I wouldn't have let her mouth anywhere near me either, if that tells you anything. <laughs> Says a lot. And a woman like that usually has the skills to pay the bills, but I she just wasn't doing it for me. But the interesting about thing about that bar is it's on the strip. So the one it's like one of the original missions uh from like the 1600s or some shit when they were out here spreading smallpox and trying to get everyone to convert to God, mm -hmm. live and let God. Um, they <laughs> no, I was like, Oh, you snuck in my bar, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, they fucking, there's like a little tourist area over there. Yeah. Right? It's like an old town. There's like a train line there. Like it's like a really small, cute, quaint old town surrounded by like suburbs mm -hmm. now, obviously. And, this bar is open like seemingly like 7 30 a.m until 2 a.m and there's always people sitting at the bar is that is that like right i feel like we passed that bar while we were it's there like, yeah it's across the street from that pizza place we ate at yes dude that place looks so diabolical i wanted to drink there so bad i got relatively hammered i will i will say it is not does not have dive bar prices Really was it? Casamigos was still was still fourteen dollars. Yes. Oh Jesus Christ! That place looks like a shithole. Which, shit is, hole which too. is like that. Those are flower shop pricing for That's real. Flower shop prices. I have an issue with flower shop. I want to circle back on that. What's up? I, I I really really do not like a bar with no service in the basement. Oh, cell phone service. I mm -hmm. see. I you haven't been there in a while. I think they I think they fixed that because I definitely they, had service. They added like a yeah. Okay. They, I think they I added, they added I, a Wi-Fi repeater down there. Because lo Lovely Day used to be like that on Broom, where you'd go in a basement and there's no service, and it's like, well, I don't know what the fuck's going on. There could be like a terrorist attack. I could be trying to call an Uber. You know, like a plethora of things could happen, and I'm not connected to them, and it's it's frustrating. You fucking high as shit on ketamine. You come up and it's just a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Like, yeah. oh, I mean, it could happen. God, it could what happened? Happen. Oh my God! I will. I I will say when I was going to those bars, it probably wasn't ketamine that I was high on. I mean, the last time that we were at Flower Shop was when we fucking took ketamine, and I remember walking up to the bar and feeling like I was a marionette on fucking strings, and everybody. The yeah, crowd that was like one parted. of the first times I did ketamine. That was one of the first times I did ketamine. I was, and I ran into like a bunch of people I knew on like a Tuesday oh, night, and I was no. like, Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. so weird. I remember getting my drink and the bartender just looking at me being like, bro. I remember distinctly coming back into town, uh, like maybe 2020, you know, like one of those times during COVID when like you come back and like the bars would be open, but it was like weird outside and drinking a bunch. Someone gave me ketamine. Maybe it was like Clark or somebody. Okay. It was like, you know, one of the, like the R2 people uh -huh. gave me ketamine. And I remember I was already pretty hammered, you know, couple, double digit mezcal drinks down into it and um i hit the ketamine and uh you know like you kind of don't feel it as much as you should so you hit it again and then you really really feel it and um everything looked like you ever seen sin city the movie <laughs> yeah you know how everything looks kind of like black and white like a comic book it looked like that <laughs> and it felt like I was in uh, whatchamacallit. And um, I distinctly remember we went from, I think we were sweet and vicious, which should tell you something. And we walked to Flower Shop. And, you know, is the is that bouncer still there at Flower Shop who just looks kind of like, like like a dude who would hang out with Fabulous? He's, like, not a very big guy. He's maybe, like, 5'11". He's not swole at all. He just wears a fitted. No. No, he wasn't there. They've had this bouncer forever, and he's just like a dude who like I must be able to just fight really well because he's not physically imposing at all. He's just like a normal person who like runs the door at this popping bar. But I still remember we all walked up to the bar, and he's like ID, ID, and he's like I, and he looks at me. He was like, No, absolutely not. Like, You're not coming. In. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, All right, and I just like stumbled. Off. Just, just stumbled home. 
Uh, the the amount of times I feel like I've been let into a a bar where an, I definitely should have been turned away at the door is honestly fucking crazy. Maybe it's because I feel like you hide it well. We both hide it well. I think. Like I've had so many times where like I'll be talking to someone and I'm like, oh my god, like sorry about last night. I was like legitimately blackout. Like, like, what? Like, what do you mean? You were, you were great. drunk. You were great last night. Yeah, like, so I fun. Surely one time I was like I couldn't even tell you were drunk. It's like, bro, I was. I was so drunk. I fucking, are you kidding me? I was so drunk. My, I was about to drop dead. Yeah. Dude. Oh my God. But you and I, you and I, we do not get so drunk that like we're physically falling all over the place and doing all sorts of stuff. We leave before it's like that. I've been there. I mean, we've been there, but it's so rare. I, I dude, I've been drinking with you my entire adult life. Literally, I've seen you like that drunk like a handful of times. You get drunker. You show up more than I do. You, but it's also in how you communicate. It's in how I communicate. I'm not like losing my keys or like sleeping in the street or anything crazy. I, I think that's like a genetic thing. I think some people just are predisposed to get that hammered. Like I, I think like some people have the genes to be able to just like get drink as much as kind of you want and like still make it home and like in your bed with like water and your teeth brushed, you know, yeah, like sloppy and some yes, people genetics, like, bro. and some people drink, you know, like two drinks and like, you know, beat their wife and like drive into a school bus and shit. Like, you know, and like can't stand up. So it's, I think it might just be a genetic, like a, a gene issue. There's also a huge difference between city drinking and rural drinking because what you're describing, crashing into a school bus and beating your wife is rural drinking. You're not fucking, you're not driving. I think, I think you would be surprised. I think you would be surprised. Dude, how many people do you know in New York City that have cars? What about like a Chicago? Okay, Chicago. I think, I think, oh. I think we, I, I think we might have to split the difference and say this could be suburban drinking. This is Dollaritas. Mm, yeah. Go on, go on. Which is much more nefarious drinking. Pulling up to the to the fucking oh Dollaritas brother. The, think about it, like there's so many places in the country that like the only place to go get hammered is like a Applebee's in a strip mall in like, you know, because you live, you know, 45 minutes outside of Wichita, you know, like, and you, like, that's the only place to go. There's no dive bars because everything is just like suburban sprawl that was built since since the Obama administration. I think, but I, I, however, every suburban sprawl has the one local neighborhood spot that isn't a chain restaurant. I think, I think, I don't, I don't. I mean, yeah, it's a chain restaurant, exactly. No, no, it's no, no, that's a, not that's not a chain restaurant. Every every I, place, I I disagree. They have the, they have the one weird restaurant, Mc, McGinnis's, over there on Main Street, mm -hmm. and people get drunk mm -hmm. there. When I went to when I went to Russo's wedding, we were out in rural like Toledo, Ohio, thirty five minutes outside of Toledo, and the only bar because I got hammered there was an Applebee's. That's Toledo. That's Toledo. I'm. We're talking about the fucking suburb. Well, what, uh, okay. what is like? What do you you want to go to? Well, like, who do you? Who are you? Like with? A, a, an urbanized suburb who, of Chicago. Like, who are you? Are you who are you with? Who are you with? That was from Toledo, though. Nobody. Exactly. So you don't know what the actual spot is there. You don't know where the locals actually drink there. Yeah, but everything else was thirty-five minutes away. Bro, I'm telling you, every fucking place, every town has the one restaurant. That is such a fucking and they, stupid generalization. Any, anybody, anybody, yo, anybody in the comments that lives out in the suburbs, please fucking tap in and tell us where you drink in your fucking town. I'm thinking that I know that there's like, there's always like, like, oh, over here, this is fucking, uh, this is fucking David's over here. And this is where you get your little, your little fucking, this is where we get French toast on Sundays, but the bar is open happens dude yeah i mean i don't know i don't know a lot of people are getting hammered in in, in like arb in not in arby's in applebee's and like ruby tuesdays and shit i will say that those places have full liquor licenses i mean that's that's also fair tj friday is fucking that their shit goes crazy somebody was telling me they're like i'm from like a small town you know like they're like i'm your age and they're like i'm from a small town i went back and like everybody has like four kids and everyone's like addicted to opiates like whether or not they're like strung out but like they're all on like xanax or like and they get hammered like six nights a week because their lives are so fucking boring and miserable and who knows if that's true but like i don't know as someone who lives in a big city i feel like it probably is true because you know i mean that's because we couldn't imagine our lives any other way except us being richer
I would love to. I would love to move in my hometown. I mean, yeah, but you grew up in a college town, and I grew up outside of a big city. So it's, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's like really, really between Richmond all the way, honestly, up to Boston is this one mega fucking city. It's like there's just it's just city, 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 all suburb. It, there's growing up in like the DC suburbs or Fredericksburg would suck ass. Yeah, but then you would just you would just be uh, hanging out in DC. Which is like not that Ooh, that'd bad. That'd be a rose bar. Yeah, I mean DC's oh. chill. It's fine. Like it's chill. It's cool. I'd be, I'd be hanging out with Shibuzi and that singer from TikTok. That actually reminds me. Speaking of drinking, what the one of the few times I remember violently vomiting like in in public was in 2019. I think I did a project with North Face, and they took us out to like a dinner after, and I would just I drank like half a bottle of mezcal. And I got violently hammered, like violently hammered. And I threw up in a bush out front of uh, KGB bar. Oh, KGB bar yeah. in the East Village. Where is that? That sounds it's on like 7th. That sounds so You'd familiar. recognize it. I don't, it might not be called that I don't either. I don't know what it's called. I, I fucking hate the East Village. And I'm trying to think of like what bar would have a bush in front of it also. I don't know. Maybe I hopped out of the Uber and did that. I don't remember where I threw up. Because like if a bush was in front of a bar, that would be, I would be like, oh, shit. I'd be like, oh, shit, there's a bush right here. Like, that's nuts. And homeless people will congregate. You know, they migrate to the bushes. That just speaks to how how shitty the East Village is. It fucking sucks. You're right. I, I don't like the East Village really either. Yeah, I've never been a big East Village guy. Every apartment, they're all fucking walk. It's just a shittier version of the Lower East Side with, like, none of, like, the sweetness of, like, how crazy it is over here. I will say it has, it actually still has dive bars, which is nice. I mean, so does the lower, but the lowers dive bars are much more diabolical. I would say than the East Village dive bars. A hundred percent. It's a definitely a very different type of person that hangs out at, at at the two. You know what I mean? It could be interchangeable. I don't know because the East Village now is just like overrun by kind of like bros, dude. It's like really, it's like really like broy now. It's not, it's not like. I don't know, people that hang out that like are like Welcome to the Johnsons or like the Skinny or like Clandestino or something. Who actually hangs out at Welcome to the Johnsons? I don't know. I don't either. But it's just it's just another shitty bar that if I were to be not welcome or didn't want to see people at the b- shitty bars that I go to, like that's the other bar that I would probably slide in on. You know what I mean? It's just they don't have any TVs or anything, you know? It's like, what's the point? There's no tellies. Yeah, which Commodore did you go to last night? Speaking of TV, ooh, uh, BK. Why? Uh, Masa and Liz randomly texted me at like eight thirty, and they were just like, "Hey, we're down the street from your house. Do you want to go to the Commodore?" And I was kind of hungry, and I was like, "Sure." And I just pulled out, I just hopped in their car, and dude, I had a one of the most romantic moments of my life. I fucking walk outside of my apartment this beautiful woman bumps into me she's so gorgeous she's like oh sorry love sorry she was like oh my gosh and then like i'm like walking into the car like looking back at her like oh no it's fine like whatever this man like oh my god she was hot i should have stopped i should have stopped and like talked to her and like married that woman she was so fucking gorgeous you really want to marry someone that fucking clumsy with that little self-awareness well she bumped into me and it felt like i was in a fucking rom-com i'm like i was about to drop my papers and shit oh shit oh now i'm late for this meeting she's like sorry this is my first day like that's how it felt are there any rom coms where the guy's black? Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, what'd you get at Commodore? Chicken Club, fried chicken club, nachos, had a Modelo, and a pina colada. I had a Modelo the other night, actually, at the dive bar. Really? Yeah, it was refreshing. Who did you go to? It was Labor Day. Who did you go to the dive bar with? The the the, the, the Aurora. The, this Aurora. Did you guys stay at the hotel? Yeah, Miss Aurora. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's fucking sweet. Beat her shit down in that hotel. Ew, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, happy for you. Happy for you. I mean, as you should. I was, ha- I was happy for me too. <laughs> But when you fucking come back, let's fucking go. Let's go to Commodore 2. I like the Commodore 2 better. Yeah, I like Commodore 2 more. And Commodore 2 is definitely more of a vibe. I, I'm about to just eat an Odeon every night when I get back. Odeon also is really fucking good. Odeon yeah. is really fucking good. Are you fiending for anything food-wise? Like being out in LA for like shit that you can't get out there here? 
What is there in New York that you can't get anywhere else, honestly? I would say the main thing is pizza. That's the most obvious thing that you can get here that's much better. I mean, Scars is fucking gas. I had some really good Detroit-style pizza out here that's fucking, I've been kind of craving. It's really gas. Um, otherwise, you know, Scars is gas. Uh, maybe some Chinese food. And then, like, just, like, kind of, like, it's more like restaurants with vibes. You know, I want to, like, I'd love to, like, sit in Lucy in, in the middle of the day when no one else is there and eat, like, a steak and a French onion soup and then feel like I'm going to die at 3 p.m. Um, I'd really like to, you know, go to Odeon and sit at the bar and drink, you know, I don't know, a, a cold martini, martini. Maybe sit at Dimes and, like, you know, like, be served by a very uh, dry they-them and, you know, like, just have a weird, like, charcoal, lemon, saltwater spritz and a, a bowl of, like, pickled vegetables, which is, like, you know, good for the soul. Mm. Now I'm thinking about, I might, maybe I'll fucking go, maybe I'll go to Bar Valentina and get a burger, actually. Mm. I mean, probably delicious. The wings aren't bad either. I want to go to Redacted and get some wings and maybe a Stromboli. Where the fuck is Redacted? You know, like, I'm not going to say the name of the place I go get wings from. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fair enough. But, you know what I mean? Fucking submit us some fucking questions so that we can answer. Yeah, submit questions. Um, yeah, I want questions for it and shit. I think literally I set up the email. It's questions at Luke's dot store. And I'll put it in the fucking in the bio or something. You can also DM me questions too if you want. DM in the store, the fucking store page, the fucking the podcast page, me and Luke. Um, that's your work podcast. Uh, we love you guys. Bye. Kisses. Bye. I'll talk to you later, Luke. Bye. Bye. Bye.